Hello, I'm Beverly Dawson at the Naval Air Station Glenview Museum. It's time for another quick look at Glenview history. By 1927, Chicago already had a commercial airport. It's the one we know as Midway today. Problem was the skies over Chicago were terribly, terribly smoky because everybody burned coal in those days. Pilots couldn't see to fly and so there was a need to find another airport. The Curtis Flying Service decided that the area around Glenview, which was two words at the time, was the perfect location for a new major airport for the city of Chicago. They dedicated it the 20th of October, 1929. The stock market crashed nine days later. The whole thing was a disaster. During the 1930s, the Great Depression, they managed to keep the airport going with air shows and uh, air races, that sort of thing. Then in 1937, the Navy was looking to expand their naval aviation program. Uh, they decided that uh, Glenview would be a perfect place for that. They arrived in Glenview with 17 station keepers, three officers, and they rented the north three-fifths of Hangar 1. So for some years, there was a presence, a military presence here and a civilian presence. They operated out of the same building, and it was a very successful time. In 1941, after Pearl Harbor, the Navy decided that Glenview would be one of their major points of operation and the civilian entity disappeared. From there, it became the Carrier Qualification Training Unit for the entire Navy. Thank you for watching another episode of History in a Heartbeat. For more information, visit the Naval Air Station Glenview Museum at 2040 Lehigh in Glenview.